let's do it. All right. Well, we are Lomelander, and uh, I'm Brendan. Uh, this is Kevin, and uh, this is a really exciting day for us. Um, we, this is a, a day that we have been looking forward to since we started our Lomelander journey. And uh, Kevin, do you want to share with us what has happened today? Uh, today, um, our website is officially launched. Go visit us, Lomelander.com. Yeah, Lomelander.com. We are stoked. Yeah, tons of work uh, behind the scenes. Thank you, Brendan um, and uh, Tatum. Um, it, it's been awesome, fun journey up to this point. Um, it, it's just real exciting to see the future now. So now we're everything is moving forward. Yeah, I mean it's it's been interesting. We've had some pretty nice resources to build our website, and and hopefully, um, at least our goal is is that it's very easy for you as our client um, to to go through to really understand um, what our different products are and hopefully show why we are uh, who we are and why we feel like we are the very best lander that you can put your money towards and uh, get the best value out of, out of what we offer. So um, some of our plans on this podcast uh, are to kind of just talk through uh, our landers. Um, I know in previous podcasts, we've briefly mentioned a few of our other uh, landers, or sometimes we've been even more um, lengthy in our discussion about those landers. But uh, we want to kind of go through our product line and just let you know what we have, uh, why they are what they are. Uh, then also to um, show you and talk about, uh, some of the differentiators in why we are who we are and what the value is, is what the value is when you order your loan lander and um, what are you going to get and why is that better than anywhere else? So, um, Kevin, I, my thoughts today were that we could just uh, show our website and that you and I could just have a fun de uh, discussion about it and kind of just walk through a few of those different points that I just talked about. What are, what are your thoughts? Yeah, it sounds like a great idea. And for everybody listening, if you play on our website and for some reason you don't think it flows smoothly, um, let us know. We have no problem adjusting, changing it. We want to make sure it's easy for everyone. Um, we try to simplify it a little bit just to make the buying simple and uh, give us a feedback. Let us know how you feel about it. Yeah, I absolutely. I mean, it, we've, we've, every one of us in this, uh, listening audience and even us here speaking right now have had a lot of experience on websites and we know what we like and we know what we hate. And uh, sometimes each of us have one view or opinion over another, and it's just nice to hear from everyone. So please, yeah, share with us what you, what you like, what you don't like. Um, you know, we're not gonna be offended and we may make a change that you have shared with us and that may make a big difference for us in our business. So yeah, we would really appreciate any of that information. So first, Kevin, can you, uh, can you see that, um, yeah. that Lone Lander page? Here we are. Uh, this is our Lone Lander. And, you know, we specifically designed it to be as simplistic as we can um, because both Kevin and I appreciate the, the cleanness of a website. We like it to get to the facts and uh, get us to the points that we can actually do what we need to do while we're there. So it is very, very, very simplistic. Um, but let's start just talking through our product line. Um, Kevin, maybe you could go uh, through the first couple and I'll do a few and, and then we'll just tag team the last last few. Yeah, definitely. So Lone Lander Sessions, that's our uh, little four foot session bag. The whole idea for that one obviously is to go hit it in your neighborhood park you can go throw it in your cul-de-sac your driveway it is a smaller airbag on purpose to be a little more portable than the others um and also cost effective so we're right under three thousand dollars on that one um that's to your door in the united states and uh, we're really excited about this one uh, it's gonna be tons of fun we're looking forward to um getting one of our own and enjoying that one which will be here any day yeah, that's gonna be super fun. Um, we're excited to have that hanging out at the Lone Lander compound. Um, and that one also is not a beginner bag, right? I mean, it's, it, I'm excited to, 20 years ago, I was able to do a 360. So my goal is to learn a 360 back on the Lone Lander sessions. Yeah. So it's uh, not it's, really an entry level bag. It's a bag to push yourself. Absolutely. Yeah, no, I, I think it's gonna be fantastic. I know it's gonna be fantastic. Extra wide, extra long. Um, yeah, just some fun features that come with that bag. Yeah, oh, that's rad. You want to jump to the next or do you want me to keep on going? Um, sure, I'll, I'll talk about the Flatlander. 
Yeah. Uh, so we had a whole podcast a few weeks ago about the M35 Flatlander. Uh, and if you want all of the nitty gritty details on that, uh, go back to that podcast. I think it was uh, maybe podcast number three. Um, but the, the flat lander is, um, the pillow style of, of lander. And this is what most people have associated, um, airbag, uh, landing airbags to be is, uh, is a pillow style where you just jump off of a kicker into it and, uh, do whatever your trick is going to be and then climb out. Um, once again, it's set up really, really well. So this is 18 feet by 18 feet square. Um, it's also six feet deep. And uh, that is a really deep airbag. Um, it gives you the opportunity to run your pressures in a variety of different ways. So if you like your airbags to be super soft, where you're going to sink pretty far down as you're doing your trick, you can do that. Or if you'd like it to be a little more firm, uh, you can close the baffles and keep it more firm. Um, but uh, yeah, it's, it's a very um, nice airbag because it also has a full continuous top sheet. Um, so the whole top of this bag is being fully protected and, uh, that in turn will save a lot of headaches, a lot of issues, uh, a lot of wear and tear on the rest of the airbag underneath. Yeah, that, that bag is going to be a blast. So, um, maybe what we'll do, Kevin, is we'll just, uh, go every other one and, uh, and work our way all the way through. Yeah. So the Lomelander OG, um, that was our original design, our original brainchild. That's where the OG comes from. Um, your six foot tall bag, your extended run out, it's tapered, it's wide, it's a fun bag. It is a bag for everybody to ride. Um, and then th those who are listening, there's also two big patches on the side and they're um, industrial grade Velcro um, designed for multiple things. Uh, we have some games planned for the future that we'll talk about coming up soon but then also if you want your logo on the side or you want a pro to sign it or there, there's so many options with that little patch on the side so you know it could be your team's logo on the side um any kind of sponsorships that you have so there's kind of a fun little factor on that yeah um, how else should i explain that a little bit more i mean that's something on your brain child that was your idea yeah i mean i think a lot of that is it gives um some flexibility in how you want to use the bag in the future. Um, and while that seems to be kind of like a little petty little piece of, of the whole lander puzzle, um, our vision is that if you have a specific sponsor or maybe you're going to an event where you want to highlight someone or something that you can create a panel that can be removable and then that can come on and come off. Uh, and then you can make it once again, uh, so appropriate for whatever the situation is that, that you need that panel to be on or off. And then those are the ones that are listening. Um, on our website, you check it out. The first one that pops up is this bright red one with the gray top. Um, that's one of our custom bags. That's kind of the fun story with that is custom colors, custom logos. Um, there's a little bit of that going on. We'll have another podcast in the near future on the full explanation of all that stuff. But it just kind of makes you get creative and look at the other opportunities. Right. Yeah, the customization is a, a key point of what uh, what Lone Lander uh, is about. So um, be aware that's that's one of the rad things that we can do. So uh, better than mulch. This is uh, our um, lander that's designed to go over the top of a uh, sure. a dirt landing. In fact, this is the one that's back behind Kevin and his uh, his background image. Um, you know, a lot of mountain bikers, uh, especially those that uh, that have been in extreme sports and, and are learning how to do different tricks, have always had the uh, the mulch jump be the staple of their safety equipment um, or safety safety landing. And uh, the better than mulch, in our opinion, is better than a mulch jump because it can be removed, it can be taken on, it can be taken off, and you can still use that dirt lander as your normal dirt lander. Um, you also can get used to riding that out um, because these landers are designed to be specific, specified to the different dimensions of uh, wherever you're going to place it. Um, these are truly a full custom bag. So we're going to uh, be able to help you design your uh, angles, uh, the transition as it's coming through, the way that it's uh, dropping off the, the lower edge. Um, it just really is a very customized uh, bag that's multi-purpose purposed and it just really helps you as a rider to be able to have your current dirt jump situation 
stay in place and then add this particular uh, mattress lander over the top so that you're protected when you're doing your um you're really your testing of, of how you're going to ride it how you're going to tr do tricks or what, whatever you're going to do on that particular landing on that bag real quick is for those who want to order that it says 4500 that price could be a little bit less could be a little bit more based on your measurements so make sure you measure out your landing the width your case pad your length um, where the angle in the transition is, you can see it right by the blower. There's that little angle right there. Um, that's why it's so custom and there's really no set price on it, but we will definitely stay very competitive with all our pricing. Right. Yeah. It's going to range anywhere between that, uh, you know, 3,500 all the way up to whatever your, your desires are. Um, it, it just is going to depend on what your plan is with this particular mattress lander. Um, we truly feel that it is better than mulch though. And that's why we named it the better than mulch lander. Um, moving into the sugar glider. Uh, I think that's <laughs> the last name that we came up with, right? Like we, we had is. all the other names. Um, we wanted to name all our bags, like that there's a story involved with everything, right? Um, a sugar glider is a flying squirrel. Um, this bag is fun. It's eight and a half feet tall. Look at that crazy extended run out. Uh, biggest reason, if you see all our bags, um, the, that run out is if you jump on the airbag and it's happened to all of us, you crash right at the bottom of the airbag. You are now landing in dirt. Well, with ours, we went extra wide and extra long. So you still land on an airbag when you um, go over the bars or, or slide out, whatever you were doing, right? Um, so the sugar glider over eight and a half feet tall, it's 33 feet long. It's a monster. Um, it's designed to let you just, you know, shoot to the moon and come down gracefully down to earth. It's, uh, it's gonna be tons of fun. I'm looking forward to that one. We have a couple on order already and, uh, one with a partner of ours and, uh, it's just gonna be a great bag to see what's going to happen with that one in the future. Yeah. Well, and it's, it's set up really nicely because it, it is a big, it's a large lander. Um, but it's not the crazy Jimbo that we're going to talk about just in a, in a second. It's not enormous, enormous. Um, so it still can be, um, well suited for, you know, that mid intermediate style rider that is really looking to push themselves and looking for a lander that is, uh, is more aggressive, but not so aggressive that even they are terrified to ride it. And then kind of back to the people listening to this bag in our picture is Lone Lander's colors, which is um, the teal sides, light gray top and Lone Lander logo in black. Um, that's kind of our staple. But again, custom think colors, think graphics. We can help you out. Yeah. And and think deep because uh, it's amazing what we can do. Um, I'm, I'm excited to show off some of our other landers that are, are being worked through the, um, the production process right now because they are coming out. So awesome. They, they look really cool. good. Yeah. You talk Jimbo. Let's talk Jimbo. Jimbo. So, uh, let's talk a little bit about the backstory about Jimbo. Um, can you, can you click on it and open them up. I will. Yeah. So the Jimbo is our largest, um, lander. And this thing is extremely big. Um, it's 13 feet tall. Um, this particular lander is, well, here's the dimensions, 43 feet long, 20 feet wide and 13 feet tall. This is enormous. Um, <laughs> I know and we're at what, 850 pounds and that's yeah. not including your, um, your bottom, uh, cover the, the ground cloth. Like it is enormous. It's just such a big airbag. And you'll notice that it's my background image here. And um, I purposely used this particular side so you could kind of see that, you know, it is a big lander. Um, you know, this lander is is one of those that's not designed for the intermediate to beginner rider. Um, if you're not a, a full sender, you're not going to really enjoy this particular lander. Um, most of the kickers are going to be somewhere in that 12 feet range, 12 and a half feet range. And, um, you know, me on our little six and a half, uh, foot, uh, uh, low lander OG and our six foot kicker, there are days that that can be a little more intimidating for, for most riders. So, um, once again, this is our pro style of, of lander. Um, it was named after my dog, Jimbo. Um, and Jimbo is, uh, he's an American bulldog, St. Bernard. Uh, he's just a big beast. Um, he is the, the biggest baby you've ever met. 
and uh, we call him a trail dog, but I, I think that would be very kind in his uh, in his view. He's a go to the trail, sleep in the van while we go out and ride uh, style trail dogs. Super lazy, uh, but he's also a dog that when he is ready to do something, he's ready to do it. Like he doesn't stop. He doesn't just, you know, he goes and he's all in. And that's our vision for this uh, Lomelander Jimbo is that when you're going for it, you're all in and you're going to just take it to the moon and you're going to drop off of, of this huge kicker onto this ginormous uh, lander and just have so much fun. Um, he's a smiley dog. I mean, you can even see this in this picture that he just loves to smile. And I, I can't imagine that if if and when you ride a Jimbo, you won't be smiling. Um, it is just an enormous uh, lander. It's a massive bag. It is. It is. Um, once again, this one is shown in our uh, Loam Lander um, base color. So we have our teal on the sides and the gray top with the black logos. Um, this is for uh, one of our uh, clients. Uh, in fact, the delivery should be happening in the next uh, couple of weeks. And they have an enormous compound and this is just gonna be a perfect fit for them. Um, and we have another one that's uh, in production right now for uh, a bike uh, bike brand that we'll make an announcement on fairly soon um, that they're gonna be using for uh, a lot of demos, a lot of uh, you know marketing opportunities for them as the bike brand. It turns into a huge, uh, platform for them to be able to get their name out in a, just a fun way. So yeah, that's the Lomelander Jimbo. It is just a, just a super, super fun bag. If you're a customer and you have specifics about the airbag you want, maybe you have a skinny backyard or whatever your situation is, we can custom size a bag to whatever you want. Um, reach out to us and we can figure out the pricing. Um, the M35 flat, ours is huge. It's 18 by 18, six feet deep, like you mentioned. But if you need it bigger or smaller, we can do that. The six feet of cushion, obviously, is what you talked about, is to give you the flexibility of how much air you want to run in it. Um, but we can custom size any bag. We do have one customer who ordered an OG, but narrower on purpose, just for limited space. Um, that should be delivered in the next couple of weeks to them. And uh, so colors, sizing, reach out to us. We can help you out. Um, anyways, we just have a great, uh, way that we can get things put together that meet your individual needs. So let's talk about why Lone Lander is so great. Why should a customer buy from us compared to the competitors and the competitors are great. They have some awesome bags as well. We've ridden them. Yeah, we have. I mean, we, we wrote a lot of bags as we were uh, going through this journey of figuring out what we wanted to do, or if, even if we wanted to do something and, um, but we also always came back with, uh, you know, kind of miss, feeling like something was missing or something wasn't there all the way dialed in. Uh, one of those things that I quickly saw as a, as a need was to have a ground cloth. Um, a lot of people don't realize how important that ground cloth is. It's the first line of defense on the protection of your lander. Um, the ground cloth is made out of heavy duty vinyl. It's the same material that your lander's made out of. It's the same material that your top sheet's made out of. So it's really, really stout. It's designed to be able to be used in direct contact with almost any um, sub substrate. So like gravels or grasses or you know wood chips, uh, concrete. It's designed so that it can take the abuse that uh, sometimes will happen in those situations and not have that abuse be taken to your to your lander. Um, the other nice thing about the ground sheet is we specifically made it so that you could use it as a cover if you're going to leave your lander out in um, in the elements. So uh, all you need to do is is fold up your uh, your lander and in, into a you know a package small enough that you can cover it over the top with that uh, that top sheet or the ground cloth, and then it's protected and you can leave it out in the elements and have a lot more life out of your out of your lander without needing to bring it into a covered or, um, you know, conditioned stored area. So yeah, that ground cloth is, is super, super important. And to us, that was a, an aspect that we were just not going to not do. So if you buy a Loam Lander, you're getting a ground cloth. That's how it comes. And it's a, you know, anywhere between a $450 to $700 value. Um, it's at no, it's charge. Well worth, at no charge, right? We're not charging for that ground cloth. That's something that we believe in so much that we want to provide it to their customers. Absolutely. 
Brendan, you brought it up earlier about the competition. We rode the competition. They are great airbags. That's what got us excited about starting Lone Lander was our competition. Um, tons of fun. And but like you mentioned, when we rode them, we just wanted something a little different. We there's something missing. Um, sometimes it was me crashing at the end and landing in the dirt. So, OK, we need an extended run out um, at the very end on an airbag. Yeah, like a foot drop. OK, well, we need to taper that down. Um, got a little squirrely. And all of a sudden you're like, oh, I'm close to the edge. Let's go wider. So our whole making it longer, wider, safer, it's nothing to do with not being fun. It increases the fun factor tenfolds, if not more. And it's yeah. just a fun way of doing it. Um, our top cloth, you talked that a little bit up. Um, any color you want, we can change that up, of course. But it's a super heavy duty vinyl to where uh, if you're on your little mini bike, your motorcycle on it, do a flip on it, go have fun on it. Um, it's going to hold elements. It's going to hold up to wear and tear. It's going to hold up to your bikes. It's going to hold up to you crashing. Um, it's going to hold up to the UV rays. So, I mean, it was designed specifically for our airbag. Right. Yeah. It's, it's that protection. I mean, it's like the top, the top piece of your lander, then it can be made to make you look like you want to look and feel like you want to feel. Um, yeah. it's, it's pretty awesome. Um, a few other things that are unique to us and part of the value of what you get are, um, well, first patch kits for life and Kevin, why don't you Whoa. quickly share what patch kits for life means? Um, and, and why that's, you know, we gotta be straightforward and say, there are going to be times that you're going to put a little slit in your, in your airbag lander and that's to be expected. Um, but we want you to be protected. Yeah. Um, if it come to the point where somehow a hole gets in your airbag lander, right? So did it rub on gravel on the bottom? Please use your cloth on the bottom. That's why we provide it for free. Um, but if you do get a hole in it, reach out to us, patch clips, patch kits for life. They're easy to install. We'll have a video on how to do that as well. But at the same time, that's limited. So if you drive over it with your truck or try to use it as a pool floaty or do stuff that your airbag is not supposed to do, that's not necessarily covered under patch kits for life, but patch kits for life will um, add the fun factor to your airbag. It's going to add longevity. Um, we want you to keep on riding your airbag. You don't, we don't want you to be bummed because your airbag has a hole in it. Um, you mentioned earlier, Brendan, that, you know, to roll up your tarp, you can use the ground cloth as a tarp, but to deflate it, that's a pain in the butt sometimes. It is. Yeah. In fact, when, uh, when we got our first prototype bag, um, that was one of the things like the first day I was kind of annoyed at is how long it took for the deflation to happen. And because you want it to be really deflated so that you can roll it up. And uh, in my situation, we just, you know, cover it with the ground, uh, the ground cloth. Um, well, I discovered that you can get deflators that attach to your blowers and, um, that, uh, well, so we went out and found them. And now with every blower, all of our clients get a deflator as part of this, this, uh, the package of buying your lander. Again, um, no charge. No charge. And now it's kind of the industry standard right now that if you are going to have a deflator, that they, it's an upcharge. Um, but we didn't want to do that. We wanted to come in with more value for our landers than our competition has. And so every single blower. Now, if you have a uh, two blower system, like the Jimbo behind me, it takes two blowers to properly use it. You're going to get two deflators. So every single blower is going to come with one and you're going to have that as a, uh, a quick, easy way to get the air out of your bag so that you can fold it up and you can store it properly and you can move on with the next part of your day. And these are all the features that we're talking about with our airbags. Why buy from the home lander? So at Lone Lander, why Lone Lander? Why buy from us? We talked about that, right? It's all the different features you get. You get ground cloth at no charge. You get a deflator at no charge. Extended runout. We talked a little bit about that, but we extended the runout and we're not charging you for the extended runout. We don't upcharge you to try to sell you into a, an extended runout. That's what we provide with our airbags. Yeah, it's. I mean, that's and that's why we're doing what we're doing. Um, probably the last couple of things I want to hit on um, while we're talking about features is uh, warranties. So um, we have a two year manufacturer warranty. And so what that means is if there's faults related to the way that your lander was built and put together, um, or if it comes damaged uh, from shipping, uh, we're gonna get that fixed. We're gonna make sure that it's gonna be uh, proper, properly suited for you and that your lander is gonna be usable by you. So for two years, we have a manufacturer's warranty. Um, 
if you have a situation, reach out to us. We'll work, walk you through the process and work you through the process and how to get those amendments and changes taken care of. Um, but just be aware, we have a two-year manufacturer's warranty. And then we also have a one-year blower uh, warranty as well. If your blower stops working in this first year, we will replace it. That's it. You know, no okay. questions asked. If it stops working, we'll replace it. Yeah, reach out to us. We'll take care of you. Um, a question that we've been hit with a lot on Instagram lately is uh, how soon could I get one? What's the expected delivery time, right? That's definitely one of our FAQs um, on our website. But global pandemic, I know we've all heard COVID and we've heard that for an entire year now. It, yeah, it's getting worn out, but at the same time, it's true. So right now it's delaying some shipping. Yeah. So um, this is in this world of, of um, large products, especially large inflatables. Um, if you haven't ever gone through the process of ordering one of these, um, it's kind of hard to hard to imagine that it will take um, up to six, seven weeks for it to go through the process of being ordered to delivered. Uh, but that's actually very common. Um, these are very heavy, very large uh, products. And so the process is, is from the time you order, um, the uh, lander, your, your lander will go into product, production within a two uh, to three week time period. Then it will be uh, shipped and shipping generally will take about four weeks. Um, now, once again, with the pandemic, um, some of those times have been uh, elevated. And unfortunately, there have been so many factors that just come out of nowhere that cause it to be delayed. So we don't even know necessarily what a delay would, uh, would be. Um, our goal is to get it to you as fast as we possibly can. Now, if you have a sp specific style of project coming up and you need your lander by a certain date, um, we can do air freight but be aware that that's a very, very expensive way to ship um, your lander. And so it would, uh, additional costs obviously would be incurred by you as a buyer, but we can make arrangements to do air freight. Uh, and, but once again, just be aware, it's very, very expensive. The Jimbo behind your head in that picture right there, right? Um, that's an 850 yeah. pound plus airbag. So just picture that as an air freight cost. And that's just kind of give you an idea of, you know, air freight's available, just it is expensive. Right. Yeah. So, I mean, it's, uh, it's going to feel like one of those things that's, you know, you're going to wait, wait on, but aren't, isn't everything better when you wait a little bit longer? Um, the okay. day you open it up, it's a lot more exciting. I think, you know, obviously this podcast was pretty sales heavy. Um, you have to know, we are super excited about this particular, uh, venture, we want it to be ex extremely successful and we want our landers to be everywhere. Uh, but more than anything, we want you as our customer, our client, our listener to uh, feel that excitement and to know that, you know, this is really something that, that we feel is going to be uh, a super fun and adventurous way for, uh, for all of us to enjoy the outdoors and to become better at our craft, whether that's a motorcycle or a mountain bike or a BMX bike, we all want to get better at what we're doing, but have a lot of fun and be safe at that at, at the same time. Um, we absolutely feel like Lone Lander is, uh, the best product in the market right now. Uh, we do say it blatantly because we've, we've ridden a lot of the other, uh, landers out there. Yeah. Um, but we've also gone through the work that it's taken uh, to get to this point and um, our excitement's real. We are, we are ready for a lot of landers to be purchased and to be uh, put out into the market. And follow us on Instagram. Uh, you'll constantly see what's happening, our new stuff, um, new partners. We're going to keep you up to date on that. Obviously, fun videos. Um, our customers will be posting their airbags and we'll share those videos. So again, follow us on Instagram, follow us on Facebook come visit our website, lonelander.com. Absolutely. And then one last thing, uh, Kevin, I said this last week, I'm going to say it again. Um, if you, after hearing this whole podcast, send us a message, either one of us or to Lone Lander on Instagram, Facebook, uh, really anywhere, and just say, hey, I heard your podcast. We will send you patches. We will send you some stickers. We will send you anything else we have uh, just to say thanks for first of all listening to us all the way through and then second um, because we want you to get stoked about this as well definitely all right well that was it Lone lander out we're out <laughs>